straightening our spine, tucking our shoulders back, preferably in a lotus pose Padmasana. We come into Kaya Stadium, making sure that there is softness in the closed eye, so there's no press. And we become aware of a central line in our body, the line of the chakras. Pranayam really helps us change our lives, bringing about a being with a higher force that descends into our chakras, transforming forever the ordinary chakras and the human functioning into a divine working, a healthy working. Once again, today we try to unravel the supreme possibilities concealed in our chakras infusing them with pranayama so that they play a, an even more major role in our lives. Let's take awareness on our lowest chakra. The first chakra, the root chakra called Swadhisthan at the perineum, at the base of the spine, rooted at the earth, to start with abdominal breathing. Inhale, inflate the abdomen like a balloon, push the pelvic platform and anus down, exhale, bring it back to normal. Abdominal breathing, abdominal breathing. A combination of chakra awareness along with pranayama brings about multiple benefits. Our entire system grounds us in the physical world when we are completely rooted at the earth element, doing abdominal breathing along with this chakra's meditation will help us reverse acidity gas, flatulence, indigestion, constipation. It will ease off the liver, the spleen, the pancreas, the gallbladder, the large and small intestines. Balance our blood pressure because tensions and pressures in daily life make this area tense and hence lifts the Udva Vayu which we are now working on with awareness and stare at the Muladhar Chakra and abdominal press, staying in complete Kaya Sthiriya. Expect silence for one minute to concentrate. Continue keeping eyes closed. Stare at the chakra, the Swadhisthan chakra. Adhar means support, Mula means root. Support the root, ground ourselves into the physical world. Because our health, our constitution, our security are all linked with this Muladhar chakra. It relates to the inner adrenal glands, which strengthens our survival instincts 
and who does not want to survive and if we have to survive who does not want to be healthy blockages in the muladhar chakra can result in spinal problems obesity weight disorders premature ejaculation knee troubles an apple and pear shape which is more weight on the lower abs and sides hammer heads so ideally this muladhar chakra brings health prosperity security dynamic presence fitness strong spine the right way one which is not too thin also a yogic body is not supposed to be too skinny also if you look at all the sages all the gurus from patanjali ji onwards to swami niranjanan ji satyanand ji etc each one of them is a little fuller that is how the muscles should be in a yogic body so no weight is orders no knee troubles with a healthy muladhar chakra while concentrating on the muladhar chakra we were giving aadhar that is support to our root that is mula first by doing abdominal breathing where abdomen goes out with inhalations and pelvic platform is pushed is pushed down and with exhalations everything normalizes followed by kapal bhati in pauses each one of us knows how many how much how intense how loud how soft how slow how fast we are supposed to be doing our kapal bhati get ready to discontinue kapal bhati last 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 discontinue lift the awareness a little higher now from the base of the spine at the perineum to the second chakra the swadhisthan chakra so from muladhar we come to swadhishta this one is at half way between the pubis and the navel swa means our own adhishtan means abode abode means seat okay and what is that swadhishtan the sacral chakra it is at the lower abdomen so take awareness once again in the lower part of the body above the pubis now in the lower abdomen eyes are still closed we start abdominal breathing and kapal bhati first seven rounds abdominal breathing and then 108 kapal bhati in a reverse order which means we are completely repeating that sequence again start abdominal breath 1 abdominal breath 2 abdominal breath 3 inflate well more than a balloon more than a pregnant woman this has nothing to do with the lungs it's about using every nook and cranny of the abdomen every organ every muscle every tendon there are no bones really but the bones are behind and even at the vertebral column
halfway between the pubis and the navel. Rooted above the earth now with the water element, abdominal breast. Push of the anus, urethra, vaginal area, what we call the perineum in yogic language, continues with inhalations. Feel freedom. Seven rounds and then Kapalabhati. Kapalabhati will be completely vipreet because in abdominal breathing we are inflating. In Kapalabhati we are not only deflating, we are pulling it diagonally in. So restart Kapalabhati and remember this time it was about a count. 108, 107, 106, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 100, 99, 98. Choose your pace, choose your speed, choose your intensity, choose your volume, choose whether it's gross to subtle, subtle to gross or even choose if you want to change from one to the other modality. In case you've lost count, start with sixty seven. In case you've lost count, start with 17. This Swadishtan Chakra is connected with our ovaries, sexual malfunction, Irregular periods, menopausal stress, uterine and bladder, kidney troubles, a stiff lower back. Ideally speaking, if healthy, it creates a lot of fluidity and grace in the body, a depth of feeling, a sexual fulfillment. And the most important of all, Fluidity in the mind and ability to accept change. We now lift our awareness from the Swadishtan Chakra to the Manipur Chakra. Manipur chakra is, as, is at the base of the sternum. So this central line of the lungs, of the chest, is the sternum. At its base, at the diaphragm, is the Manipur chakra. Mani means jewel, pur means town. Associated, down was earth, middle was water, this one is fire element. The Manipur Chakra. Concentrate here. Bring your palms on your knees with the Padmasan cross-legged position. Elbows are out. Inhale fully. Lift your head up. Exhale completely, come into a chin lock. Stick the tongue out and start Shwan Pranayam. Excellent. Look up, cockeyed. Come back, restart.
come back. Please start immediately. This continue to restart after a pause. Pauses between pranayam are as important as the pranayam themselves to know the difference, to know the before and after, to know the dualities, to know the comparison. Just pause. This Manipur chakra is known as the power chakra. It gives us personal power, a strong will, and autonomy as well as a strong metabolism. Completely related to the outer adrenal and pancreas. Adrenal glands and pancreas are ductless glands that do our secretions. So we want to avoid all hypo and hyper problems. All glycemia, say, like diabetes, high blood pressure to low. <laughs> is what should be happening okay each one of you please check for yourself because any malfunction here any problem here any blockage here results in anger depression poor digestion a sense of victimization so obviously a healthy one is just the opposite, all opposites. No sense of victimization, no problems of digest, no digestive problems. Opposite of depression is an elation. It's as good as a samadhi. No anger, at peace with oneself. Energy, effectiveness, spontaneity, non-dominating power. Discontinue Shwan Pranaya. Notice how you feel at this, this time. Run your awareness from the lowest chakra to the middle chakra. Muladhar. Swadishthan. Manipur. We come up now to the fourth chakra in which we will be doing the bellows breath, Bhastrika. Why? Because the fourth chakra's position is at the center of the chest. It's called Anahat chakra. Anahat means unstruck, not produced by striking. Anahat, in which we will do Bhastrika twists. Okay? So please watch. This is how I go. Bhastrika twists. This is all about our waist, our heart, being unstruck, produced without striking, and the element air. Enjoy this. Don't take strain. Stay in the bliss of the joy of the fourth chakra. Very good. Keep going. Twist well. Yoga with a twist. Inhale. Hands up. Open the palms. Vertigo people, if you are dizzy, you can discontinue. But do restart. Excellent. Discontinue Bhastrika. Give yourself a few 
meditative moments again to stay with the heart chakra. Even the sunlight should not be creating a frown or a, link, a wrinkled forehead because we should be taking it only in the mornings and the evenings. Blockages in the Anahat Chakra brings about a lot of disturbance because Anahat Chakra represents and is an integrator of dualities. Opposites in the psyche, mind and body, male and female, yin and yang, subjective and objective, negative and positive, ego and unity, soul and nature, absolute and relative. Each one of what we are, at times this way, at times that way, flip sides, the dualities, relates to the thyroid and thymus glands, especially the thymus. Lack of compassion, very bad immune system, heart problems arise as one loses the sense of peace and centeredness if the heart chakra is blocked or unhealthy. Lifting the arm now, interlocking the fingers in a twist, we again start Pastrika. Please watch. Interlock fingers, elbow on the fontanel, the inner elbow, and we start. Even if eyes are open, make sure you are not judging. Stay in Unmani, other side. Discontinue. Bring the hands down. Keep eyes closed. Focus on the air element at the chest center, Anahat. From earth to water, water to fire, fire to air. We came up gently, chakra by chakra, chakra by chakra. In stillness. Getting ready to discontinue and end the pranayam session. Come into Kaya Siriam in case there is any chanchal down. And prepare to open the eyes. Close them again. Again get rooted at the earth, water, fire, air. Down again. Muladhar, Swadishthan, Manipur and Anahat Chakra. 
concentrate only on these areas. Now the whole physical body. And again, open the eyes.